Hello students, in today's video we are going to discuss the topic of new drug discovery. Now this video is second in the series of videos on new drug discovery and development. Now as we all know introducing a new drug in the market is a highly complex process. It cost pharmaceutical company around 1.5 billion US dollars and 10 to 15 years of research and development. Now look at this figure. Now this figure gives a compiled representation of uh, the entire process of new drug discovery and development. Now the entire process of new drug discovery and development has two main stages. The first stage is a drug discovery and the second stage is a drug development. Now broadly speaking drug discovery identifies lead compounds. Now lead compounds or leads are the most potential drug candidates while new drug development further screens identified leads in animals and human beings so as to finally identify a single most safe and effective drug molecule. Now after receiving approval by the licensing authority that is FDA Food and Drug Administration, drug is manufactured in large scale made available in the market for the treatment of specific disease or condition. Now to further ascertain the safety of new drug, investigational studies tend to continue even after approval of new drug by FDA and these studies are called as phase 4 trials or post marketing surveillance. Now in this video we are going to discuss uh, the steps in the discovery of new drug. Now major steps to be followed during the process of new drug discovery are target identification and validation, then high throughput screening of uh, compounds that is the identification of hits and uh, lead generation and optimization. Now the process of new drug discovery ends with the generation of leads and their optimization. Now optimized lead compounds are further screened during the process of drug development and finally a new very potent efficacious and safe drug is selected. Now as discussed uh, the first step in the new drug discovery is the target identification and valid validation. Now target involved in a specific disease is identified whose functioning could be modified by a new drug so as to produce the therapeutic effect. So identification of the target is most important to start with the process of drug discovery. Now in vitro research is performed to identify and then to isolate molecular target involved in the specific disease. Now this target, it could be a gene or it could be a protein. Gene or protein regulating single transduction pathway within a cell responsible for the cellular action. Now, as we all know, defect in a gene is involved in many diseases. So for identifying gene, as a target, sequencing of DNA is studied. Now target proteins could be G protein coupled receptors, they could be enzymes, hormones, ion channels, nuclear receptors, etc. Now all these proteins are the members of signal transduction pathway. So during this step, individual target is identified and isolated. Now very important, the target should be druggable. That means the activity of target could be modified by a new drug molecule. Target identification is followed by the target validation. Now target validation ensures or reconfirms that the target identified and isolated is the correct target and this target is involved in the generation of specific disease and further its functioning could be regulated by a new drug to obtain the therapeutic effect. Now second purpose of target validation is to ensure that all wrong targets are eliminated that is exclusion of the wrong targets. Now after target identification and validation second step in the new drug discovery is the compound screening. Now compound screening assays are developed and usually around 5000 to 10,000 
potentially active compounds are screened. Now, the purpose of screening is to evaluate the ability of these compounds to interact with the identified target. And further, these compounds should not interact with other related targets. Now, before discussing this process, we should know the sources of these 5,000 to 10,000 compounds. Now, these active compounds can be obtained from a natural compound or from a natural source. So, these are obtained by the uh, exploration of natural sources. They can be obtained from plants, animals or from the microorganisms. Secondly, these compounds could be synthesized in the laboratory. Now, chemical congeners of natural products or synthetic compounds with known pharmacological activity could be synthesized in the laboratory in the hope of providing superior drugs. Now, uh, the third important source of uh, potentially active compounds is the genetic engineering. Now, several drugs have been produced by recombinant DNA technology, for example, human insulin, interferons, etc. Now, one of the most uh, important and one of the most popular and effective screening method uh, that can be used for the screening of compounds is the high throughput screening, in short, HTS. So, all 5,000 to 10,000 active compounds are screened for the ability to interact with the identified target by high throughput screening method. Now, this HTS uh, or the high throughput screening method uses robotics, then data processing control software, liquid handling devices and sensitive detectors to rapidly conduct millions of pharmacological, chemical and genetic tests. Now, more than 50,000 compounds can be screened in a day. So, all potentially active compounds are screened and from 5,000 to 10,000 compounds, only around, 10, uh, only around 100 to 200 compounds are identified with affinity and selectivity for the identified targets. And these compounds are called as HITS. So, high throughput screening ensures identification of HITS. Now, unfavorable compounds are rejected by high throughput screening, while the best 100 to 200 hits are selected. Now, very important, hit is a compound that exhibit selective or specific activity at the target. These hits, they possess affinity as well as selectivity for the target. So, after identification and validation of target, active compounds are screened and hits are identified. Now the next step uh, is a further screening of hits and generation of leads and followed by lead optimization or the refining of the leads. Now hits as we know are uh, potential active compounds with affinity and selectivity for the identified targets. Now hits are further screened by target selectivity assay, by in vitro efficacy assay, by in vitro ADME and physical chemistry assays. And thus from 100 to 200 hits, dozens of lead compounds are selected. Now let's understand what are these leads. Now lead is a chemical compound that is more selective to the target, more potent and with good structure activity relationship with a good ADME profile that is good absorption distribution metabolism and excretion profile that is good pharmacokinetic profile. Now these leads are further optimized or refined. So leads are chemically modified to optimize and further refine their selectivity and affinity for the target. Now pharmacokinetic pharmaceutical and toxicological properties of leads are also improved by the process of chemical modification. Thus, lead optimization involves chemical modification of lead molecules to improve their potency and to reduce their side effects. So, leads are used as templates for designing around 250 compounds through chemical modification. Now, purpose of all these chemical modifications is to further improve pharmacological, pharmacokinetic, toxicological and pharmaceutical properties of these lead compounds so that the best compound is identified as a new drug 
and other candidates are screened out. Now optimization of uh, these leads, leads or optimization of lead compounds marks the end of drug discovery process and the process of drug development begins. Now during drug development, uh, these optimized lead compounds are further screened, they're further evaluated and finally one new drug molecule is identified and selected. Now, if that new molecule is approved by FDA, new drug molecule formulations uh, are manufactured in large scale and the new drug is released in the market. So, this is in brief on the process of new drug discovery. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.